Hello friends, here we have square root of x cube is equal to 27 where x is real number and let's solve for the x. We can rewrite this equation like x cube whole raised to 1 upon 2 is equal to 27. Now we can multiply these two because the rules say if we have a raised to b whole raised to 1 upon c then it can be a raised to b upon c. So here we can write x raised to 3 upon 2 is equal to 27. Now we will square both the sides. So we have x raised to 3 upon 2 into 2 is equal to 27 square. This 2 will be cancelled. Our next step will be x cube is equal to now 27 is 3 cube. So we can write like this 3 cube whole square. Now we can flip this two because if we have a raised to b whole raised to c then it can be a raised to c whole raised to b. So here we can write x cube is equal to 3 square whole cube. 3 square is 9 so x cube is equal to 9 cube. From here we can equate x is equal to 9. How? If we raise 1 upon 3 at both the side x raised to 3 whole raised to 1 upon 3 is equal to 9 raised to 3 whole raised to 1 upon 3. This 2 will be cancelled. So x is equal to 9 is the answer. Let's check it first and our given equation is square root of x cube is equal to 27. Putting x is equal to 9. So we have square root of 9 cube is equal to 27. Squaring both sides, square root of 9 cube whole square is equal to 27 square. These two will be cancelled. So 9 cube is equal to 27 is 3 cube. So we can write like this whole square. Now we can flip this. So we have 9 cube is equal to 3 square whole cube. 3 square is 9, so 9 cube is equal to 9 cube. So, x is equal to 9 is the correct answer. Now, here is an extra question for you to solve. If we have square root of x cube is equal to 64, where x is real number, please try it yourself. And let me know the answer in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye bye.